This is tutorial number 54, and it covers how to create ball bearings in assembly. To start off, let's open up a new assembly file. Let's click File, click New, click Assembly, click OK. Now let's view the origin, and let's browse for our parts. Now they're all found on the DVD, and they're the ball bearing, the inner housing, and the outer housing. Now let's start with the inner housing, click Open, and we'll put it to the origin. Now let's get the ball bearing, let's click Insert Component, Browse, and let's click the ball bearing. Now how we're going to mate this is by clicking the ball bearing, click Mate, now click this face, and we'll make it Tangent, click OK, click the ball bearing again, and you can either click this face or this face and make it Tangent, let's click the inner one, make it Tangent, click OK and now we have our first ball bearing in place and if we click OK and then click on it we can see it that we can drag it around and it follows the track now let's insert a second ball bearing click insert click browse click ball bearing click open now let's click the ball bearing click mate and we'll do the same mates click OK, but this time we're going to mate it to this ball bearing and we're going to click distance and make it zero. Click OK, click accept, and now we've made two ball bearings in here. And if we drag one around, the other one follows. Now let's put a third one in, click insert, click browse, click the ball bearing, and we'll do the exact same mates again. Let's make it tangent. Now, if it goes through that way, you have to flip the direction. Click accept. And we'll make the distance zero again. Click OK. And now we have the three going around in that track. Click accept. Now, if you look at it from the front view, now we can see that the ball bearings are up just a bit so they can touch the outer housing. So let's click insert, click browse, and let's get the outer housing. Now let's mate the inner circle to the inner circle. Click OK, make it concentric. And now we're going to mate the ball bearings to the top of this. So let's click the top surface there and just click one of the ball bearings and we'll make it tangent click OK and now we've made our ball bearing assembly click OK now if we click the wireframe we're able to see that the ball bearings touch the bottom one and the top one and we're still able to move these around and that concludes our tutorial on how to create a ball bearing assembly within SOLIDWORKS